and for each of them i'm going to be telling you exactly what i did to them hi guys <coughs> <coughs> This is noisy. So guys, happy new year. Um, thank God we are all here in year 2023. I'm glad we all made it. So congratulations to every one of us. Um, so quickly guys. So as you can see, I'm battling severe flu, which in this part of the world we call Qatar. Because if I say flu now, you think that I'm talking about one small um, sickness. It's Qatar and this Qatar is serious. It's dealing with me. It started a few days after Christmas and crept into the new year and this has messed up my new year i'm not going to lie i've been so sad so unhappy so restless like so uncomfortable and this has really you know all has tried to mess up my new year and i said to myself no even though i didn't have anything planned out for the new year out or anything but at least i should be happy i should be healthy like i should feel good with myself but none of that happened so this morning being the first, being the second, because even as I yesterday, with so many New Year messages going up and down, like I couldn't even pick up my phone to read anything, let alone rep uh, let alone replying or texting anybody or saying calling anybody, wishing anybody happy New. I couldn't do any of those. Like for you to know how how bad it was, I wasn't happy. You can't give what you don't have. Like I wasn't happy. What what is there? What is where is the happiness to wish anyone? Like there was no happiness to wish anyone. I was so sad. I'm not going to lie. So today being the second, the same thing wanted to happen or the same thing happened and I, at a point I was like, I just woke up from my bed I'm like, no, this is not going to happen. This is the second day of the year. This is new year. I can't just let this thing mess up my new year and then maybe gradually creep into my year and, you know, I start fighting things that I'm not supposed to fight in the year. So while that thought was just going through my mind, you know, a thought just dropped into my spirit, which I believe the Holy Spirit did. And then I came up with this secret on how to deal with this kata. So if you're having kata, or anything similar even if it's not kata anything that makes you uncomfortable believe me that if you apply this secret i'm going to be telling you like <laughs> you can see me smiling now like a few minutes ago i wasn't i was so moody and so sad but as soon as i did this or as soon as i did what i'm about to tell you more, the whole thing changed like i was not like what like i don't get why why did why did this thing just why why am i just realizing this and that is exactly what i want you all to do be it kata be it anything just do what I'm about to tell you and believe me, you are going to snap out of that situation as soon as possible. So talking about kata, there are so many symptoms that you know you suffer from whenever you're having flu or kata. And um, there are about five to six of them that are outstanding. Like if you're having a severe kata, you can't escape these five to six symptoms that I'll be mentioning and then telling you what to do with them. And in no particular order, we have nasal congestion, difficulty in breathing, headache, running nose, sleeplessness and all that so i have all of this and even many more and for each of them i'm going to be telling you exactly what i did to them so i'm going to start with the nasal congestion yeah you know the nasal congestion that comes with kata you know how it can be in this part of the world we would say it choke kata it did choke and my own my own choked me it really did and for the chokeness, I said, you see the way this kata has choked me. That is how the blessings of God is going to so choke me this year. Like, exactly. It's going to choke. The blessings of God, no choice. There's no option. It's going to choke me this year. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Secondly, you see that difficulty in breathing? As soon as your nose is choking, how do you breathe properly? You know, you'll be having serious difficulty in breathing. Sometimes it'll be like your breath is hanging. It can't go down for you to feel relaxed. That's how the blessing of God is going to cost me. I'm like, I'll be so, like, I'm going to find it very difficult to breathe by the time that blessing lands. It's going to be very difficult for me to breathe because I'll be like, somebody should help me. I need help. Yes, that's how the blessings of God is going to cost me. That's what it's going to cost me this year. Then still in the chokeness, you know, difficulty in breathing, your nose is choking. The mouth has to help out. Thank God for God when it plays the mouth just close to the nose. So that when things like this happen, the mouth can come in and play the role that the nose was supposed to play that it couldn't play anymore. You're having congestion, in, uh, that's our congestion, difficulty in breathing. Definitely your mouth has to be left open 
So the breathing in and breathing out has to take place, you know, through the mouth. <laughs> you see, the blessing of God upon my life this year is going to leave me with a very wide mouth open, like, you know, Kata will just do this. You just say like this, helpless. Mm -mm. The blessing is going to leave me like this. Somebody will need to tell me, Auntie, please close your mouth because fly is about to enter. That's how the blessing of God is going to leave me with a very wide mouth open this year. Yes. Then, next, you see the running nose uncontrollably. Like, you see that uncontrollable running nose that you have when you have kata. Mm. That every time you are cleaning, you are cleaning. Mm -hmm. That's how the blessings of God is going to overflow in my life. Eh? That I will need help, like help, left, right, and center for people to come and help me, assist me, you know, in handling the blessings of God upon my life this year. There is no choice. Shabi Kata has come to deal with me. Me, I'm giving it back in return. That is how the blessings of God is going to overflow. It's going to run over in my life this year. Yes. Then next, you see, hey God, headache. The headache that comes with Kata. <laughs> it's no child's play. Like that headache is always like somebody's hitting something. Bagam, bagam, bagam in your head. That's how the blessings of God, by the time it's lands, it's going to land hard, giddy on my head. Even my brain, my brain is going to reset in order to assimilate and accommodate what is going on. Hey, to settle in, my brain has to shake. That's how the blessings of God is going to hit me so hard that my brain would have no choice than to reset to understand that something has just happened. Yes, so. Ah, uh, then lastly, let me stop at this one. See that sleepless night that Kata has cost me for this. No choice. It's going to work in my favor this time around. That's how the blessings of God is going to cost me. Days of sleepless nights. Yes. That blessing, by the time it lands, sleepless nights for days, that's what is going to happen to me. Shebi Kata has cost me sleepless nights. Eh, Kata, Nani Kata. So why would the blessing of God cost me sleepless nights? It's not possible. That's how the blessing of God is going to cost me sleepless nights. This mouth that God has given to me, I've decided to put it in good use. And the same thing I pray you do. You see this year, there is no time for nonsense. Any nonsense that comes, please make sense out of it. Make sense out of it immediately. Everything works together for my good. As long as I love God, and I know I do, it's going to work in my favor. So that is what exactly what I am doing. So whatever situation that you are going through, whatever thing that is disturbing you, that you feel okay, this thing has followed me to 2023 again, making your life uncomfortable, my brother, my sister, begin to speak. Begin to speak. It's only a dead thing or a dead person that cannot talk. Open your mouth and talk. Power of life and death is in the tongue, whether you like it or not. Because I know some people don't believe it, but whether you like it or not, it doesn't change anything. That is the truth. So begin to speak life into it. Whatever it is that is disturbing you, that has made you feel like something is wrong. Yes, there is something wrong. That is the fact. But the truth is that you can make that thing that is wrong right by speaking to it. So I've declared it. And best believe that I'm going to come back here to tell you that all these things that I've mentioned, one after the other has manifested. Best believe it. I've told you. And that is how it's going to be. So whatever it is that is disturbing you, begin to speak. Begin to speak. Begin to speak. Do not stop speaking. Because as soon as you stop, that thing is having an upper hand in your life. So begin to speak to it. And best believe that at the end of the day, we are all going to come back here to testify of the goodness and faithfulness of God upon our lives. Because our mouth is not just an ordinary part of our body. It's an essential part of our body. So in this year 2023, let us all begin to put our mouth into good use and see its manifestation in our lives. So guys, I hope I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that no matter the symptoms you're having, those symptoms can work. You can turn it around in your favor. Using your mouth. Putting your mouth into good use. Thank you guys for listening. I love you and happy new year.